Uh, our state is too expensive, first and foremost, and people are voting with their feet. They're leaving our state because they can't raise their family. They can't afford a home. Gavin Newsom appointed himself as the homeless are, the housing czar, right? Every, everything under the sun, but yet doesn't take the action necessary to actually construct the units. A lot of experience in that. As mayor of San Diego, I brought together Democrats and Republicans to pass one of the most significant reforms to help increase housing in San Diego, increase the supply where we want it along our transit corridors. We called it complete communities. It's going to make a huge difference. I eliminated the regulatory burdens to construct that. Eliminated things like parking requirements to make it easier so you can get more units. I have the experience in actually not only getting these plans there, but getting them across the finish line. In this case, the supermajority Democrat City Council. We have to make housing more affordable in California, and I will take the same types of steps that I took as mayor, those immediate steps that says, we're gonna cut through the bureaucracy, we're going to build more homes, we're going to build them where we want them to be, which is along our transit corridors, and we can actually do it. All right, we'll go to uh, Kevin Pafrath. You certainly have a lot of YouTube videos on topics like this. Where do you stand on it? California currently builds just 80,000 housing units per year. To break even with our housing disaster, we need to be building 300,000 homes per year. That's to break even. Kevin Faulkner mentions that we should build along our transit quarters. That's not enough. That's not enough. It's not that it will create a drop in the bucket for our housing crisis. It doesn't help that when you had a real estate deal in San Diego, 101 Ash, you understated repairs and that ended up costing $115 million than you stated they would. $115 million more. Here's what we need to do. We need to build hundreds of thousands of homes throughout California, ideally half a million homes per year. There are 482 cities in this state. We build them outside of our large cities. We'll average them out. We will have affordable housing again. That way we're not affecting housing prices within our city, but instead we're providing an affordable option outside of our cities. And then we can have better infrastructure to connect these homes. We will also make these communities net negative by building them near and around solar and wind farms. But we must build more houses fast by streamlining the permitting process and enabling Californians to build. Okay. Yeah, you can. Yeah, no, uh, you have 30 seconds to respond. Uh, uh, I'm happy to. It's not the time for on-the-job training uh, for YouTube. Somebody that's never actually had to get legislation across, actually had to get the units constructed and built, and actually take the stance to get housing constructed in California. I think that's a clear difference between you and me, my friend. And that's why it's important that we elect a governor that can actually get hit the ground on day one who has success working with Democrats and Republicans to actually get housing across the finish line like we did in San Diego that will help 100,000 new units to make it more affordable for our families. It's, it's not time to test drive. It's time to actually have somebody it, who has the experience to do it. All right, it's Kevin Kiley's turn. I'll remind you. I'm sorry, I should respond the, to that. The we're going to move to Kevin Kiley. The mm. question to remind you is, would you sign a package of bills to make changes, including building small apartment buildings within existing residential neighborhoods or turning unused commercial properties into housing? Well, it's hard to commit to signing or not signing a bill uh, in the abstract. Uh, there's a lot of things we need to be doing about housing. Uh, and, uh, you know, some of the ideas you mentioned may have merit, but uh, fundamentally, this is the issue uh, more than any other that is the reason the American dream uh, is falling apart in California. This used to be the state where anyone could get ahead. It's now the state that so many people can't wait to leave behind. Last year, for the first time in California history, our population declined by 182,000 people. We just lost a seat in Congress based upon the last census. Now, Gavin Newsom came into office. He ran for the governorship, uh, claiming that he'd do a mar Marshall Plan for housing, but he's produced nothing of the short. As a matter of fact, he's delivered one-fifth of the units that he promised. Now, you'll get other states. They can get projects off the ground in weeks and for thousands of dollars that in California take years and cost millions of dollars. That's the reason we don't have the housing supply that we need. And there are very simple reforms we can make to get the results that other states do. Reforming CEQA, rolling back the costs that add $150,000 to the price of a home before the project even gets off the ground. Certainly streamlining the approval process. Okay, the last person to answer this question is John Cox. Well, I've been in the housing business for over 40 years, so I have the experience, and I'm not a politician, and the politicians have jawbone about this for years. You know, this isn't just a supply issue. That's certainly part of the issue, but it's the cost 
of building, and Mr. Kiley referred to it. Uh, I build for a living. Most of my building is done in Indiana. Uh, I can build there for $125 a square foot. Here in California, it's $450, $500 a foot. You can build 300,000 units all you want, but you're never going to make it affordable when it's that expensive. And it's driven up, as Mr. Kiley said, by CEQA, by the impact fees, by the lawsuits. I could get approvals in six to 12 months in Indiana, and I assure you the people in Indiana care about the environment, they care about traffic, they care about building standards, and it's not the cost of the land that's the difference, because when you're building multifamily, the cost of the land isn't significant. We need to get somebody as experienced, can bring down the cost of housing, because it is killing families and their ability to live in this state. It's all about families. But many of the regulations that you refer to are in place to protect things like air, water and labor. Is there one regulation you would look to end first? Well, like I said, the people of Indiana care about the air, water, and labor as well. They managed to approve pro pro uh, property building in six to 12 months, not 12 years like here. Uh, they certainly have high standards as well, but they managed to get the, and, it, and it's done like that all across the country. California is the outlier here, and I think we all need to understand that. Thank you. And it's because of the politicians and the celebrities that we've had running Thank the you. state.